Engineer 775 here. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about portable solar power and the many uses and many ways in which you can use um, a solar unit, a portable solar unit. There are many on the market. Um, I've done a lot of research and I've been really slow, deliberately slow, in order to uh, do my research and pick what I felt was um, going to be useful for those prepping and for long-term scenarios not just a, a couple of days but something that would be sustainable for long for the long haul so let me tell you what I found and what I chose um, I didn't build one I've built comparable things but not something that's on the market so what I ended up picking was a Sunrunner you might have seen them uh, the Sunrunner they're made in Virginia and uh, and I'm gonna take you through what this little guy can do um, the uh, What's cool about it, it's got a lot of accessories, it's got great connectors, but again, this is a portable solar generator. And the first thing I've learned about it is how heavy it is, because <laughs> it has a real battery. Most portable solar generators don't have a decent battery in them. This has an 888D DECA battery made in Pennsylvania. This uh, case with the inverter, the battery, and everything is about 260 pounds. So it is very heavy but it's for a reason. It gives you the storage that you need um, to make it a sustainable system. Um, it also, the one that I got, has two Kyocera 140 watt panels. So right now, I just got these mounted up against my pole. I don't have my top of pole mount yet, but I put this pole in the other day, and that's where they're going to sit, is on this pole, and I'm just sitting them here now. So I get a good five to six, six hours of sun, at least six hours right now, of sun on here to um, to keep the battery charged. So picture, you know, you've got your, your RV, your camper, and, uh, and you go to a remote location. Here, I've got, I've got grid power here now, but if the grid goes down, or if you're bugging out to a location, you got a piece of land and you have an RV, and you want to keep it going. So what I'm finding is that I can run everything in this RV except for the air conditioning unit. And on this unit, it burns up around... 15,000 watts so I cannot pull that but you can live without it so um, everything else microwave refrigerators lights keeping your batteries charged um, in the in the system itself in the trailer itself is it's a great it's a great thing so so here's the setup you can take this baby camping with you take your Sunrunner take your solar and you're completely off the grid so it's a, a really neat option and let me show you some other features. I got, there's a lot I want to do with this, um, and I'm just going to do. This is going to be my camping video, I guess my RV Sunrunner video, and I'm going to do one with um, uh, crank a watt tied to it, bicycle, um, uh, even using a gasifier and a thermoelectric generator to charge the battery here when you don't have sun. So, like I said, you only have sun for a quarter of the day. There's other ways that you can charge the Sunrunner. Sunrunner uses these great um, SMH plugs, these worn winch plugs. And you can see the voltage just dropped down on that charge controller because I just unplugged the solar. I love these connectors um, because there's no male and female. They're just one type of connector. You just make sure you have your polarities right. And you have your solar port here on the right. I'm going to plug the solar back in. And it starts charging. And I can tell you how many amperage amps it's putting in. Currently, currently putting 15 amps from the solar into the battery. So, because I had run some power, ran a microwave, so it's it's charging the battery back up. You can also tie in other battery banks. You can buy another unit and just for extra capacity, battery storage, and plug them in through a, a larger um, connector. Got a heavy-duty on-off switch here. It's fused here, 30 amp fuse, and it's on, in a real heavy duty cabinet. The inverter is a 5,000 watt inverter with 10,000 watt surge. I actually wired the camper plug to this terminal block so that I could get full AC power. And I just made this little pigtail so I could plug it in to uh, the camper. And so now we've got, uh, we're running a camper. So let's, let's go check it out. So you know I'm not telling you a story so got my little camper pad here with the camper on it and 
So yeah, just turn, we got lights. Got lights everywhere. Uh, TV, refrigerator, obviously. That's all working. Um, it's in auto right now. That works. Microwave's on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run the microwave. Again, I'm only plugged in to my little sun runner. And I'm going to put uh, just some water in here. Shut this thing up. And uh, let's run that. So again, we're running microwaves, running, heating up our, our water. And that was cold water I put in there, so just to prove it to you. So this is kind of cool. We're not plugged into the grid at all, but we can use just about everything in this RV except for the air conditioning unit. So that's, but you can live without that, like I said. But everything else, you'd have every other convenience, including uh, the ability to keep your Krispy Kreme donuts uh, cool. So anyway. Let's see if we warmed up our water at all. So I'm going to stick my finger in here. Oh yeah, that is hot. I mean, you can take my word for it. You're not going to see any steam off it right now, but it is hot, hot, hot. Okay, microwave running off of the Sunrunner. So everything, microwave is probably the biggest hit to the system. You know, it's 1500 watts. Um, but the, it's a 5000 watt inverter with a 10,000 watt surge. I just can't start the AC unit. so. Um, that's it. So if you want a solution for bugging out, you know, a lot of people have chosen uh, campers and hey, it's a great solution. Why not have your own power system to go along with it? Um, yes, there's generators, but your fuel runs out. This is a fuelless generator. It's running off of solar and you can put it on a frame, make that portable too, or you can move it around and get about 8 to 10 hours worth of power generation out of it. You see, I used a lot of power, so I'm up at 14.15, 14.9 volts. That means uh, the solar is, the charge controller is taking all that it can from the, uh, the solar panel. So this is my RV bug out solution for power, and it is using this uh, 110 volt, 60 hertz sun runner. And uh, anyway, we do have these on the website at Practical Preppers if you want to check it out and all the different accessories. I've also coupled this in with the crank -a -watt and uh, the ability to pedal the crank -a -watt, and I'll do that in the next video and show you how to keep this baby happy. But it's the only one i found with a real battery in it, and what I mean by that, a serious battery um, that could keep you sustainable. A lot of the smaller portable solar generators just will not carry you through a couple of days of, of using it for lights, refrigeration, a microwave. Um, they just don't have the the amp hour they just don't have the storage and if you need more storage with this one then you can just add on you can add on a, a couple of batteries um, through these uh, 600 volt DC plugs which is awesome so a lot of flexibility that auxiliary port again you can put in the solars on the right auxiliary on the left I can charge this thing it's so many different ways a US uh, DC output off a generator um, like I said, thermoelectric generator, pedal power, hand crank, crank a watt, um, gasifier, you name it, just to keep my batteries happy. But for the most part, it's going to use solar because that doesn't require any energy on my part. So anyway, I've been very impressed with the, the little unit and uh, well built, pretty tough. And that's it. I think that's that's a long video. Apologize, trying to get into a lot of the details because a lot of people are interested in a camping solution, a bug out camper solution. And this is the best thing I've come up with um, that I've seen so far in the portable generator market, solar portable generator market. Okay, Engineer 775, signing off.